Hey guys, what is going on? It's Epic Video Game Master here, and it's time for some more Maple Story Noob to Pro. Last time we had some internet issues, and we were not able to complete this uh, little um, mouse quest. This time we're gonna complete the mouse quest and hopefully move on. Now, somebody did mention to me in the comment section below that. For the Shade class, the story goes right to level 30, which I was not aware of, but now I am. So, we are going to be doing story until level 30, and then we're going to start into the uh, different grinding spots and different uh, questing that you can do uh, to level up the fastest. So, we're going to finish off this mouse quest, so I'll see you guys. Actually, I guess it's pretty much already done, so let's go ahead and go to silver. Now, we did buy these Return to Nearest Town Scrolls. Let's just go ahead and use them. I know I can use the yellow portals, but uh, it's all good. It's faster this way. And we get 2200 EXP. And that gets us right to level 20. Which we can now put our ability points in. And our skill points in. Uh, I'm going to put it again into Volp's Leap. And uh, now. Something we can do now at level 20. Any class can do this. Is uh, if you head over here into the book thing. And talk to Tot. Uh, and you take the level 20 reward here. And uh, you go to your use tab. And you go ahead and open it up. Guess what? You get a full set of level 20 equipment. Uh, that's really awesome. So we're going to go ahead and put on the knuckle. All of it has potential, so we can go ahead and reveal it all and hopefully get some good stuff. Now there, I didn't really get anything. Here I got intelligence, which is useless for me. Um, let's see what we get here. We got all stats plus one, dex plus two, so that's not bad. Uh, let's see what we get on the hat. Wow, dex plus... Nah, that's not bad. Okay, and anything else? Any other level... Am I missing anything? I don't think so. So now our range, our damage range, is up at uh, 66 to 332. Now something I like to mention is when an attack says 72% damage, it means 72% of this, of your range. So just to clarify some of that stuff. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to Moonbeam here and see what we have to do next. Um, so, uh, what went wrong this time? Why are foxes emotional roller coasters all the time? I guess I better apologize to her. She was, are you sure it's only foxes? But, uh, whatever. Uh, she was heading the direction of the fox tree. I guess, I guess I should follow her. Alrighty then. Um, the fox tree. I have no idea where the fox tree is, but, um, I guess we're going to the fox tree, right? Uh, cause that's just what you do. Uh, where's this fox tree at? Ah, here's the fox tree. Okay, I'm gonna skip the, uh, the cutscene again, because... It's faster, and we got another level from that, so that's not, that's really good. They're just handing us free levels here, and our Vulp Sleep is almost maxed, and then we can finally get into starting to max Flash Fist, so pretty good stuff going on there. All right, who has another quest for me? Silver does. Chief Fox Silver, what do you got for me? All right, I hear that Moonbeam gave you something special. I had a feeling she wanted to look after you, whatever, okay. And what do you want me to do? Um... Very well. Every member of the town will have a different part of the test. Time to take some paw stamps and return to me. Start with Timber. Alrighty then. So we gotta go over to Timber and we gotta do some things around the town um, for the chief and we're gonna see what happens then. So talk to Timber. Alright, 25 red poison and green poison uh, frogs. So hopefully these monsters give us some decent EXP because the last monsters, uh, the EXP was kind of crap. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting these guys to give uh, much better EXP. Wow, there are a lot of frogs here. Okay. Um, I would it why what did I do here? Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay. Wow, so our damage is a lot higher. And uh, we can, we are just like really flashy. I'm really enjoying this class actually. Look at this. This is amazing. So you can actually double tap the jump button to do Vault Sleep. I didn't know that. Now I do. Um, so wow, you can just, uh, I like this class a lot, because I'm at, like, look, if you want to get to the monsters up there, you just use this skill, and there you go, you're right there. And, uh, you use this skill, and it just takes you right to the monsters, which is really cool, and fast. Really efficient for training, and, um, anyway, I th okay, we already killed enough red poison frogs. Wow, they give 35 experience points, that's actually really good for this level. Um, but we're gonna go ahead over the green frogs, um... But these are really good. This is uh, looks like a really good spot to train on. But we got to kill 25 green frogs as well. And I don't know why we're just killing frogs for no reason. You know what? You know what? We're going to read the quest. What does Timber exactly want us to do? Because, uh, so there's no... Timber says you should be able to limit 20, eliminate 25 red poison frogs and green poison frogs in 10 minutes. Defeat the monsters and get Timber's paw stamp. So we're just killing frogs for joy? That's really harsh. I mean, uh, <laughs> like, I get it, you know, they're poisonous and whatever, but just don't come here or, like, I don't know, like, they're not bothering you. You can just, 
like teleport around them and stuff like why why do we have to just kill innocent frogs for no reason like i understand when you're killing the the like mo other monsters but why these frogs they're like just some frogs trying to have some fun over here like just jumping around having a jolly old time and next thing you know i come in and boom they're done Alrighty. anyway let's just head back to timber and get our paw stamp because we got to collect all the paw stamps for uh chief silver Okay, so uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna we're gonna have to ha do the uh, story right into level 30 for this class That's not usually the case for regular classes. So uh, it's a little bit odd, but that's okay Alrighty, so you give me 3200 experience points. Wow, that's a uh, it's a lot of experience points You got me to level 22. Thank you so much timber. You're such a good guy. Okay um, Let's put our stuff into strength here, and who do we need to go see next do we have to go see the chief? Nope, we have to go see this person down here. Now, before we see this, before we see Compass over here, I want to point something out. Now, this star thing, these are event quests. So, um, every time there's an event, you'll just, uh, the, it'll show up in these quests here. Now, some of these quests, the tutorial quests like this, it's just going to tell you how to, how to do things. And, uh, t if you press the V key and open up the event tab, you can see what events are going on and what re rewards they have. And uh, if you do some of these quests, you might be able to get a little bit of experience points. Um, catch upon. Good luck in your inventory. Uh, simpler scrolls, better cubes. So these are just some of the... See, we got 100 insight there. Um, and that's something I'll talk about a little bit later as well as character traits. But for now, because uh, we're, we're, we don't really have to worry about that right now. Uh, not till later. Uh, but they are important. Okay, let's talk to Compass. What does Compass have for us? Okay, first question is, what's the favorite meal of the pointy ears fox? Uh, raw liver. Okay, I remember that because of the whole liver incident. Okay, that's right. We love raw liver. Second question, what do we serve as our god? Um, fox god. That's right, the pointy ears. Uh, okay, now last question. What kind of powers do we have? Um... The powers to ignore other people. <laughs> Wrong. You should study more. Alrighty then. Okay, so you are raw liver. You have a fox god. And the power to handle spirits. That's right. We have the power to handle spirits. Thank you so much. Wow, that's a lot of experience points. 2,800 experience points for that. Now, who's over here? Patience. I hope you have a lot of patience for me because I'm going to be like really... Okay, whatever. I was, I was trying to go for something, but it wasn't really working. Oh my god, now we have to kill innocent chickens, ducklings or whatever, just for leisure, just so we can get your paw stamp. Why don't you just stamp my paper and give me your stamp? Like, like, come on, like, why are we just killing innocent animals here? Like, where, what happened to, to humaneness in this game? Like, look, just killing some frogs over here. Probably pick these up to get the mesos from it, and, um, yeah, we're just killing some random frogs for no reason. Let's just, uh, get, grab a level up here. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Yes, there it is. Okay, so we're level 23. That's pretty good. Headed to this portal here and uh, kill some more frogs just for leisure, because that's just what you do when you're in the Maple Story world. No, but seriously, like, I understand. Like, okay, go kill these evil guys or evil things. But like, look at these guys. They're just some chickens trying to live their lives, and we're coming in here, taking our lives away from them. 39 experience points each, though, so I'm not complaining. But uh, still, 60 chickens. That's like that's a lot of KFC. That's a lot of KFC, my friends. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and kill these chickens. And uh, I don't think I need to cut it out because it's probably gonna be very quick. So. Yeah, but like, I mean. In a normal class, you're not going to have to do a beginner's quest to level 30. Most likely, you'll have to do them to level 10, maybe level 13. But And then you go right off into training, right off into the, the grinding maps, which uh, are most likely you're going to want to grind at... Uh, if you watch my training guide, is which is on my channel, if you check it out, and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're there. But if you check it out, there's a training guide that'll explain to you guys exactly where to train from level 10 to 30. Um, because unfortunately I won't be able to do that because I decided to choose the shade class, which doesn't allow that. Anyway, now that we've destroyed these chickens for absolutely no reason whatsoever, and we've, uh, picked up a bunch of potions, well I haven't really, but you should have, um, we can go ahead and use our return to town scroll and, uh, get back to town here. And where is this girl that we have to talk to? Patience. Do we have to talk to Patience? Go to patience. Okay. Uh, where is patience? She's over here. Okay. 
Here's Patience. What does Patience have to say for uh, making us kill innocent chickens for no reason whatsoever? You have to give us 3,800 experience points, which gives us one more level up and gets us to level 24, which is really nice. And we now have 10 more strength, and now we can finally start putting it into Flash Fist, which I'm excited about. Because the damage just went up by 30%, so 30% of 400 is a lot. That's what, like 12, 120 extra damage per hit, so that's pretty good. Anyway, who's, who do we have here? We have Brooke. What does Brooke have for us? Oh, hello, your skin looks so pale and sensitive. Wow, is that how you greet somebody? That is very racist. Look, look. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, look at my character's skin color. Okay, I made him tanned. Now let's talk to Brooke. What does Brooke have to say? Oh, hello, your skin looks so pale and sensitive today. You know, we were just talking... Wow, that is... What a way to greet somebody. That is pretty racist stuff. Maple story racism right there. Okay, the punk chicken crew is even worse than the other chicks. They are a menace. And can you teach some manners to 60 of them? Wow, okay, so I guess these chickens, it kind of makes sense, the punk chickens, because, well, I mean, they, they're dismannered, right? And, um, well, they're actually mean. The other chickens were just, they looked pretty innocent to me. Now, uh, before we go, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab another one of these uh, Return to Town scrolls, because we're going to need it. And um, we have some mesos now. Now, all these equipment that we picked up, like this coconut knife, and uh, you can just go ahead and sell. I, I know these are worth zero, but these pants were worth 5,000. Uh, whatever. Like, I don't need any of this stuff. The beginner's equipment. Um, whatever. Okay, so we have 9,000 mesos, which is pretty good for now. That's pretty much all we need for potions. Especially the fact that we're getting potions from monsters. And also because I upgraded that skill first. So I have a ton of HP that I don't really have to worry about potions right now. HP potions at least. MP potions are going to become a problem. Wow, that's a lot of damage now that we upgraded our skills. And I'm sorry for the lag here, guys. I don't know what's going on. Um, I think my... Uh yeah, it's really laggy. My internet is just being really funky the last two days, so I really apologize to all of you guys out there who uh, were disappointed in episode uh, two because I was disappointed in episode two. Why is it still lagging? Please stop lagging. Please stop lagging. Lag, stop. Hold on, just give me a second. All right, so hopefully that uh, stopped the lag there. I think it did because... Uh, it did a little bit. Uh, I just restarted the thing and I got... Yeah, whatever. Okay, sorry about that. So these are these menacing punk chickens that we gotta take out. So let's just go ahead and uh, hit them in the face. Make them cry like the guy wanted us to. He wanted us to teach 60 of them a lesson. Oh, these pants are worth a lot. 5,000. So it's pretty good pick up right there. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and teleport around. I'm really loving the mobility of the shade. It moves around really easily. So just like, you know... Teleport like a boss. Come up here. Nope, I didn't say go down there. I said come up here, but okay. Go up. 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 There it is. Okay. So you kind of have to like aim with the arrow keys where you want to go, and it just kind of takes you there. So I'm not too happy about the whole beginning quest going to level 30, but I guess it's faster because it gets you like the EXP gets you like, right to level 30. Now, these things right here. There we are getting our introduction to spell traces. Now what spell traces do in Maple Story is very important. Now if I would like to uh, scroll an equipment, for example, let's throw these pants on here for example. Uh, you, so you see how the piece of equipment says number of upgrades available seven. So we can use seven of these scrolls on it and we can choose the, the scroll we want and they cost uh, this one costs zero spell. Wait, no, this one costs three, this one costs two, and this one costs two spell traces. This one's 100% success chance, and that's all the extra stuff you get on it. This one's 30, and that's all the extra stuff you get on it. So, yeah, so we're not going to be using that right now, but it's going to become useful once again later on in the higher levels. Because right now, our damage is okay, and we're doing okay. Anyway, let's just go ahead and finish this quest, and I think uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Get to level 25, hopefully, and... Um, We'll see what, where it goes from there. I was really hoping to get to level 30, but because I want to get through all these beginner quests, I might have to push it one more video, guys, unfortunately. But we did get that return to town scroll, which was really nice. So let's just go ahead and slap that on our face. And let's go ahead and talk to... Uh, who is this person's name? Brooke. The racist Brooke. 
Alrighty, Brooke, what do you have for me? 4,200 experience points. Oh, come on. That didn't give me a level. Okay, you know what? Just for you guys, I'm just gonna go and kill a couple poor, you know, like friggin' innocent frogs. And uh, we're just gonna see how it goes. So let's just go ahead and do that. What I just realized, guys, is I could have just came to this map and grinded out some levels at, at level 10. Like, I didn't really have to do the quest, because this map is really good, actually. The spawn here in this particular one is fantastic. So, if you're making the shade, I recommend, if it's possible, at level 10, to just come to this map here, because it's really nice. And then, if you want, you can do the quests after, but actually, you have to do the quests eventually, so you may as well just do them. Alright, guys, well, I'm talked a lot right now so i'm gonna let you guys go you guys are probably your ears are gonna be ringing after this from my voice but that's all good so anyway next time we're gonna get moonbeam's paw stamp and, and hopefully get to level 30 actually we will get to level 30 in the next video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry for the uh issues that was going on with the leg and i'm sorry that we couldn't get to level 30 i really wanted to get to level 30 in this video but i guess we're just gonna have to push it one more because of time's sake and i'll see you guys later make sure you guys hit that big subscribe button and slap that like button it makes me feel really good and the giveaway is going to be the 500 subscriber giveaway today is the last chance to enter i repeat the last chance to enter the draw is going to be tomorrow i'm going to be releasing some a video and uh yeah goodbye